Welcome buddies, today we are updating our C3 from Android 9 to 15. Unfortunately, some motor mods are not supported, like our 360 degree camera or GPL speaker. There are some preconditions. You need Android 9 and developer options enabled, you need a good USB cable, you need EDB and fast boot, and four necessary files. A boot image, a copy partitions file, of course Lineage OS 22, which is Android 15, and the Google Apps. Our phone has a codename Beckham. Let's look at the supported versions. Supported are from 6 to 2. But yeah, I have an 8, an unsupported version. Should, should it be a problem? No, we are crazy. Now we grab our Moto C3 Play, go to the settings, developer options, and prepare the bootloader unlocking. So press OEM unlock, yes. And I'm looking for the other necessary stuff. The USB debugging must be switched on too. Yes, there it is. All right, so everything on the phone is now connect your phone to the PC. And if a pop-up comes, um, press allow. Go to your um, folder where ADB and Fastboot X are located, start a command window and type ADB reboot bootloader to start your phone into the bootloader. So, so it should look like this and everything should be okay. Just to double check, I'm typing fast boot devices. If our device is listed, okay, it's there. Everything is okay. Now we unlock our phone via the Motorola website. Link is down there. You have to log in with your Motorola ID. And please um, take the US version of the website. Other locations doesn't work in my case. So the website says we have to get an unlock code from our phone. So I copy and paste this fast boot OEM get unlock data, press enter. And now I got a result and string which I'm copying and paste it in a Windows editor file so I can edit it and make it make it to one string without anything else, just a string without the bootloader. Just to make it to one clear string like this, copy and paste it and enter it here on the, at the website for Motorola. And then we can check if an unlock is possible. And yes, it's okay, it, it is possible. There's another box we have to check and request our unlock key. And we will get this key via email. We copy and paste this code. And we have now to unlock with this key the bootloader in our phone. So fast boot OEM unlock and paste in your unlock code, which you got via email, hit enter and run this command a second time. Please put it again in and let's check if it has worked. Yes, so now we have to start our phone and activate USB debugging a second time. Sorry for the bad video quality, they're just um, is a start there and we press the power button. Yes, now power button to start the phone. And now we have to set it up again. Just go ahead with um, next, next, next. It doesn't matter. 
because we are flashing a new OS. So I set my phone up and go again to build now build number to get the developer options enabled. Now the developer options are enabled and we have to allow USB debugging again. My phone is still connected to my PC. I unplug and plug again the USB cable. So there is a prompt that I'm allowing um, the communication between my PC and my phone. So now we have to command in the uh, ADB minus D reboot bootloader. Sorry, I just don't screen recorded it. So our phone is in the bootloader mode like before and we flash. Now our recovery with fast boot flash boot boot point image. Then we take the phone and restart in recovery mode. It needs some seconds to go to the recovery and then it's very important that we are pressing on the phone apply update update via ADB. It's not recorded for me. You have to do this and we are going back to our PC so command window and type adb minus d site load the copy partitions file and hit enter. Now it's uh, copying it to the phone. It always ducks at 47%. That's fine. We have to be patient and wait. Once the process has finished, we go to advanced and reboot to recovery. The process is still ongoing. Okay, now it's finished. Now reboot to recovery. And then press factory reset. Yes, we want to wipe everything. Okay, now we go one step back with the left arrow above the Line HOS logo. Once again, we click Apply Update via ADB so we can side load now the Line HOS, aka Android 15. So we type ADB decide load line age point 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 whatever and also transfer it uh, to your Moto C3 phone. The process is a little bit fast forwarded <laughs> and again we stuck at 47%. So uh, fail to read command. Yeah, everything is okay. That's fine. The last step is to flash the Google Apps. So we want to go to the recovery. Yes. And once again. We press apply update via ADB. And then go back to the PC and flash the G Apps. It's the same command adb minus d side load the Google Apps zip file. Once again, fast forward the 47% stuck uh, and finished. Now we are pressing reboot system now and the Lineage OS will guide us through the installation setup like this. At the end it looks like this. So just a few apps. Pretty nice. And that's 
Android 15. I was very surprised because if you're charging the phone, there is suddenly a um, light. I didn't know this, that it exists. So, a short test with our motor mods. You see, it's recognized we don't have a tile here, like in the Motorola Android 9 version. You can choose the mode of your battery, standard and efficient mode. But it doesn't bother, it's just charging every time. So, let's have a last quick look. Oh, it's really, really beautiful. And at the end of the video, I have already the next update and I installed it and I can tell you no, it's not better with the motor mod support the 360 camera and the speaker doesn't work at all. They are recognized from the phone, but you can't use it. Thanks for watching and have fun with Android 15 with the Moto C3 Play. Bye bye.